Welcome back everyone to Dragon Age, and I'll have you know, if you didn't see it at the end of the last episode, <clears throat> um, I should have remembered to put some text on the screen that said, never mind, I figured it out, you have to right click on this. I didn't, I didn't know that. Alright, so let's do this. <clears throat> so I guess we have to go underwater to get to the werewolves? Seems odd. Maybe this is like a secret passage to the werewolves. Who knows? Lair of the werewolves. All right, we got some corpses here. No. No. Is that what you're all gonna have? All right, nothing else in here to worry about. Yes. All right, bring it on, boys. Bring it on. And I just remembered I needed to level up, so let's do that real quick. <clears throat> so yeah, I am recording this immediately Not after off. recording the previous episode. Yes. And my voice, I can tell, is about to go, so this one will probably be a shortish episode. But I definitely am in the mood to keep playing. So, um, Joros, let's get your constitution up a little bit. And your strength and your dexterity. I think that'll be good for now. Uh, let's level up your duelist pinpoint strike. Dual weapon repost. Um, momentum. Let's do... <clears throat> The character has learned to carry one attack through to the next, increasing attack speed substantially. This mode consumes stamina quickly, however. That's kind of cool. <clears throat> I might utilize that. It's kind of neat. So if I need, like, major... Like, if they've got the aggro really good, I can uh, easily get lots of attacks out. Oh, and Alistair, let's level you up too, buddy. Let's do strength and constitution. And what do we have here? We got cleanse area. The Templar purges the area of magic, removing all dispellable effects from those nearby friendly fire. Possible. Not on easy. A uh, taunt. A mocking bellow. Uh, catches the attention of nearby foes, increasing their hostility toward the warrior frightening appearance. Um, increases this effect. Okay. So that's probably what I'll want. Uh, the character quickly strikes a, targeted fo uh, a target four times. Uh, but dealing reduced damage with each hit. If the character has a shield has shield mastery, the damage from each hit increases. We definitely have shield mastery, right? I'm assuming that's in somewhere else. I would have thought that was here. Uh, don't need two-handed. Uh, I like the... I think I like taunt. We'll do taunt. Um, so let's go to Alistair's Tactics. Yep. Uh, let's do... Um, <clears throat> let's just do enemy... Nearest visible taunt. So when he's... N if, if anything else, he's going to do taunt. That's good. Okay. Um, which way should we go? That's the exit. Pile of filth down here. Darkspawn dagger. Nope. Anything down there? Trap to take the rubble. Okay. I'm not going with that rubble. Okay, let's get that trap. Let's try out this momentum. Oh, I like that. I like that momentum a lot. All right. Ooh, I like that. Let's keep that active. Oh! These shadow wolves are crazy. I think I'm on my sixth cough drop. 
These things go by quick when you're talking with them in your mouth. Alright, pile of junk. Hmm. Nothing. I'm really not finding anything in these little loot things. Ah, but a chest. That I'm interested in. Hello, but I can't click on it. I'm trying. It's not grabbing it. All there right. it goes. Dalish gloves. Plus one dexterity. That's actually pretty cool. Let's um get rid of something. Yeah, get rid of that. Probably worth I probably just destroyed something that was worth a lot of money, but don't really care. <clears throat> I had so much money. It's the last thing I'm worried about. And yet I grab things just to sell them. You talkers? You talkers. Stop! Brothers and sisters, be at ease. We do not wish any more of our people hurt. I ask you this now, outsider. Are you willing to parlay? Uh, I was willing to parlay like forever ago. Wait, parlay means like truce, right? We're talking right now, aren't we? So talk. Not with me. I have been sent to you on behalf of the lady. Good. She believes you may not be aware of everything you should be. Mm. She means you no harm, provided your willingness to parlay in peace is an honest one. Hmm. And how do I know I won't be walking into another ambush? So why doesn't this lady come and speak to me herself? If you were willing to talk, why didn't you earlier? Swift Runner did not think it would matter. The lady disagrees. And since you have forced your way this far, we must acquiesce to her wishes. Gotcha. Is your lady Witherfang? She is not Witherfang. But she can tell you of Witherfang if you ask. Hmm. But first, you must agree to parlay. So now I'm figuring out in the back of my mind that this lady is the wife of whoever it was. I can't remember who it was now, but maybe the wife isn't Witherfang. Uh, then take me to this lady, and how do I know? So why doesn't the lady come to me? Forget it. Yeah, then take me to this lady. It wishes to speak to these creatures. What is the point? We've slaughtered our way this far. What's a bit further? Hmm. It is never a weakness to seek out our alternative shale. Fine. Arguing with that logic will just give me a headache, I swear. <laughs> Follow me. But I warn you, if you break your promise and harm her, I will come back from the Fade itself to see you pay. <sighs> cool. I love that, like, I had the option to just go guns blazing. <clears throat> They don't like me. It'd have been nice if they recorded more sounds for that. Oh. Looks like Kerrigan. I bid you welcome, mortal. I am the Lady of the Forest. Hmm. Uh, what did you want to talk about? Really, you seem more like the Lady of the Ruin to me. Thank you. I'm glad we have this chance to talk. I must admit, I was expecting another werewolf. So you're what the werewolves have been keeping down here. Okay, thank you. I'm glad we have, ha uh, I'm glad we have this chance to talk. Do not listen to him, Lady. He will betray you. We must attack him now. Hush, Swift Runner. Your urge for battle has only seen the death of the very ones you've been trying to save. Is that, is that what you want? No, my lady. Anything but that. And the time has come to speak with this outsider. To set our rage aside. I apologize on Swift on his behalf. He struggles with his nature. Hmm. As do we all, lady. Rabbit dogs usually need to be put down. You lead the werewolves, do you? Yeah, I'll, as do we all lady. Truer words were never spoken. Hmm. 
But few could claim the same as these creatures, that their very nature is a curse forced upon them. No doubt you have questions, mortal. There are things that Zathrian has not told you. I bet. Uh, is that so, such as? It was Zathrian who created the curse that these creatures suffer. The same curse that Zathrian's own people now suffer. Centuries ago, when the Dalish first came to this land, a tribe of humans lived close to this forest. They sought to drive the Dalish away. Zathrian was a young man then. He had a son and daughter he loved greatly. And while out hunting, the human tribe captured them both. <sighs> the humans tortured the boy, killed him. The girl they raped and left for dead. The Dalish found her, but she learned later she was with child. She killed herself. Oh, man. Uh, so Zathrian cursed them, I take it? That's horrible. They deserved whatever we, they got, and what does that have to do with anything? So Zathrian cursed them, I take it. Zathrian came to this ruin and summoned a terrible spirit, binding it to the body of a great wolf. So Witherfang came to be. Huh. Witherfang hunted the humans of the tribe. Many were killed, but others were cursed by his blood, huh. becoming twisted and savage creatures. Twisted and savage, just as Witherfang himself is. So the Dalish leader misled us. Are you really surprised? You? No, just trying to picture his little elf head squishing. <laughs> ah, there we go. They were driven into the forest. When the human tribe finally left for good, their cursed brethren remained. Pitiful and mindless animals. Until I found you, my lady. You gave me peace. I showed Swiftrunner that there was another side to his bestial nature. I soothed his rage and his humanity emerged. And he brought others to me. Uh, why did you ambush the Dalish for revenge? So why don't, didn't you rejoin human society? These werewolves still seem plenty savage to me. Uh, why did you ambush the Dalish for revenge? In part, we seek to end the curse. The crimes committed against <coughs> Zathrian's children were grave, but they were committed centuries ago by those who are long dead. Word was sent to Zathrian every time the land ships passed this way, asking him to come, but he has always ignored us. We will no longer be denied. <sighs> we spread the curse to his people, so he must end the curse to save them. Huh? Yeah. Please, mortal. You must go to him. Bring him here. If he sees these creatures, hears their plight, surely he will agree to end the curse. Huh. I actually... I actually believe her. And part of me feels like I shouldn't, because I do. Like, usually my immediate reaction would be not to believe her. But the story... The story checks out. <coughs> it makes sense. It doesn't make Zathrian a bad person. It just makes Zathrian a complex person. Um, I have another plan. Kill the elves. Kill Zathrian. What? That's an option? I can do that? Does that then give me the werewolves as my allies? I want to do that. But that's not in Joros's character. All right, I will bring Zathrian. Tell him if he refuses, I will ensure that Witherfang is never found. He will never cure his clan. Outside of this chamber, the passage leading back to the surface has been opened for you. Return with Zathrian as soon as you can. Very, very cool. Shale approves. Quest updated. That is really... Oh, look at my stuff coming off of my back. Is that just from being on, like, the... Oh, no. Oh, that's my momentum. Oh, that looks legit. All right, guys. That'll do it for this episode. We'll see you guys next time as we go back and get Zathrian. Adios.
Goodbye.